It's Glenn here from BJ's Breedables. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different today, and um, I hope you'll come along um, for a bit of a just tutorial for all the grandmas out there. Um, after Mother's Day the other day, and sort of, I thought I'd do a grandma's um, help tutorial for all things computer related. Um, I sort of stumbled onto the um, scam baiting um, videos on YouTube and I'll link them below. Please also check them out. They're like, it's insane. Like, I knew there was like all the crazy telly scams, but I really didn't realize like kind of how bad like these guys go after people for like, just like even like for no money um it's insane it's like they just completely crazily go and hound um people so i thought the best way to stop anyone from getting scammed is to know how to deal with it um to just uh, know what you're doing anyway um, so yeah i just thought i'd do a bit of a psa for all the grandmas out there and a bit of a Mother's Day present a little bit late, but I thought, yeah, um, the best way to avoid getting scammed on the internet is to know what you need to know. So I thought we'd do a step-by-step -step on how to um, keep yourself safe, um, know what to do when things go wrong, and just what all the bits are for um, when you're when you're using your computer, um, so just all the all the parts that we have, and what they all mean, and what we've got. So, please, this is done. Pass me over to your grandmas, and let's do this. So, hey, grandmas, happy Mother's Day. We're a little late, but let's do this. Let's let's get you knowing more about your computer and how to use it than your grandson and make sure you can correct him the next time you try to show off. And make sure that you're safe on the internet, know what you need to do, know how to use it, and how your computer all, all operates in a very straightforward um, manner. So, um, so if I assume you, you've been using it for a little while, you know the basics of you your keyboard and mouse and switching it on and off, and you, you've got Facebook on, um, um, internet and everything installed and you've been, um, you know, using a computer, like, you know how to use a computer as far as the basics and uh, you're not certain how it all connects together, um, or how to, to guarantee that you're, you're safe and doing the right thing, um, and how to make sure that you keep it running smooth and, and, and proper. So we'll start off with like some ultra ultra basics. Um, if you've got a up to date Windows 10 computer of, of, of like any sort uh, um, or, a, or a Mac, you're already protected from viruses, um, hackers, um, and basically 99% of all all sort of threats you can already built in free. You don't have to pay any extra for that. Um, it's all it's all just there. Um, so nothing that pops up. Basically, you can always just click no. No matter how alarming it may seem, or they may make noise, they may do anything. They may do make any kind of noise, but it's always just a no. You just you don't need it. The Windows has it all covered for you. There's um, one or two other things I'll show you on um, just for your internet browser to help get rid of um, ads and pop-ups basically to begin with so you never have to see them anyway. Um, but we'll, we'll go through both with and without that and I'll show you some step-by-step -step ways of just making sure you um, using the right links to find things um, and making sure that just the things to, to, to look out for 
Um, most of these are concepts, and most of it is out there to trick you. They are specifically designed all over the internet to trick you. They're trying to, and the best way to know about it is to just um, know about it. So that's what we're, we're here. So we'll start off with your, your, your computers. Um, really, really simple way, okay? So don't panic at all. Um, everything in it is really simple and logical, that's what they run on. Um, we've got all the parts just on camera there and we'll run through it. That's just with the case side panel open, it's just what it looks like inside. Um, so, there's just, they're, they're really, really, really simple. Um, and once you do, as I said, like, basically, Windows has you, you covered like 99% um, and with a couple of other things and a couple of ways just to double check yourself and that that's all the other there's a couple of other applications that are just there to double check um, they're really not there to um, and, and they're free on the internet um, unless you're directly purchasing something that you want from say somewhere like eBay or and things like that or a service you directly want like Netflix um, you, you don't have to pay money for 91% of like the software um, that you, you sort of use um, there's a lot of ways they try and trick you to um, subscribe and set up and things you really really never ever need to pay for anything on the internet um, other than things you directly are choosing to buy yourself um, and that's 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 pretty crucial um, so they'll try as I said it's all designed to get money out of you but you really don't you, it just I've been on the internet my whole life um, and I've never really needed to spend any money on there um, for anything other than I said directly what I wanted products, um, software packages and things that I directly wanted, all things as far as security and safety as they've always been pretty much built in um, and it's all taken care of so all, all the other antiviruses and stuff that they, they flash up and tell you um, are better and may, uh, may fix things that those things aren't there 99% of the time, they're not real issues and the programs that like Norton and things they're at best the same as what you've already got in Windows 10 and most of the time they just take up more computer resources without giving you any more protection um, and they just clog up and slow down your computer um, and so it's built in you don't need any any other thing um, but we'll go over as I said, we'll just double, there's a couple of tools to just double check yourself. Um, so we'll start off with just like some basics of inside a computer for you. So inside your case there's sort of just like inside a computer, it's actually really just about five things um, that, that make it up. So there's nothing really that crazy about it. The rest is just basically a bunch of wires. The fancy wires when they're printed on the board um, and the normal wires, other than that, it's it's all just wires. It's like there's really just the five things that you need in there. Um, you've got your case, um, it's just the outer bit. So you may have a laptop and that's cool. That's also just a plastic case. Um, made otherwise you've got a, a desktop of whatever shape size and variety they come in many um so that the outside is a case it's just a shell um inside there you've got your, your cpu which is just so you've just got your cpu in there um that's the brain it's a small, small little chip. Um, I have other videos in my channel where I've 
building and putting pulling computers apart so please check them out as well they'll show you exactly like all the intricate things a little bit more than here but we'll go just through the basics you just got your cpu which is your, your your brain of the computer and yeah it's just a little tiny square chip it's about that big and that, that's about it um you've got ram which is the the computer's short-term memory and it's just a couple of sticks of yet again little chips about that long and that just remembers what it's doing like for net in the moment um, when you switch off the computer anything on the RAM just goes away and that's that's all that means yet again anything on the internet that tells you your RAM's corrupted or um, infected is is lying to you um, it's just going to switch off and come back with the computer next time and there's nothing can stay on there it's specifically made to hold things for only whilst the computer's thinking about it and then just get rid of it then you got your hard drive or a um, solid state drive an ssd so those two are the long-term storage um where you keep your photos and the, the operating system and everything else um and then there's a power supply that just sends power through to everything and it's rated to send enough power to all the bits and it's just a bunch of wires the same as what goes through a kettle or any other electronic thing there's just a whole bunch of wires sending um, a small amount of electricity generally um, like sort of 5 to 12 volts of just basic around wires <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous how like simple the things inside this are um, and then you probably have a, a graphics card of some sort which is it's maybe just built in or it may be a, another piece but that's just what sends out the picture to the display um, it's it's just a chip yet again it may have its own like cooling um, but it's just a little chip again that tells the screen what to do um, and that, that's literally it like there's other accessories like your cd drive but that's just a cd drive like there's really nothing else to it those are the basics you can upgrade them there's many many numbers associated with them um but those, that's the basics but as long as you you sort of just keep those um in mind um that, that's your computer that, that's that's how it works the cpu thinks about things the short-term memory just kind of has it there whilst you're doing stuff and it forgets it when you switch off the computer and nothing can stay in there and your hard drive just remembers it for later and the power supply tells everything where the power is and that's it <laughs> they're ridiculously simple um, and the rest of it is just basic software um, if you're on a Windows 10 machine it's only if, and we'll just the first thing you do is just go and double check that the updates are on and up to date and then you basically you're safe you're secure and, and you're pretty much sorted the rest of that is just um, ways to avoid the worst things and what happens to do if you do trip up and who will have tripped up and um, just, yeah, we're going to just go on a little bit of a journey. I've got, um, we're just going to mistype in some like common um, websites you might go to that might happen and, if, and see what they're like to, in case they're, to, they're, they're like nasty. Um, as well as just as I said, we're going. If you're looking for things, sort of, when when all the stuff pops up on the screen, there's there's certain stuff that's always sort of you always avoid it. Um, or if you always avoid that area, then you always sort of protect yourself a little bit more. And then like even just even just on Google when you're searching for things, um, sponsored links and stuff that come up the top aren't always that that's, doesn't mean they're trustworthy. It just means that they paid money to be there. And those are generally the ones that are most willing to take money off you for doing nothing because that's why they paid to be there. So 
when you're looking around, um, it's good just to avoid a lot of those first few sponsored links and the ones that are flashy and bright and just double scroll down a little bit and just double check um, the first like three or four entries down the list um, to see if anything looks weird or tells you or just it's usually a better link more direct um, and you can avoid a lot of the the ones that are trying to trick you like straight up and paying money to trick you they're paying money to trick you so they can try and get money out of you um, so that's, that's just one of the, the best tips is just double check what the, the the first few search results after the sponsored links at the top checkout um, say about things um, because yeah they're really crafty and and spelling is a pain in the ass but they try and trick up the spelling so I've got uh, like unsecure, uh, a brand new install, install like um, web browser that I haven't used. Um, I haven't put the any ad blocker or anything on that. I'll show you how to do. But to start off, we're gonna I'll try and bugger it up a little bit to show you like what what case you might be in. Like if you've had problems and you might be looking at things like I'll install a couple of these sort of bogus things and just show you like where you can trip up in just installing things that are supposed to help you and as I said, um, they're trying to trick you. Even the most common thing that's legitimate that you need, you want, you want to try and just do it, they'll still try and put things in there, but that's what we're here to get around. Um, so we'll kick off there with just um, We've got our um, desktop um, open and you, you just, you know, got whatever you've got on your desktop. We've all got everything and we're going to just double go over how to clean it all up um, and some and ways of just, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, I've got Microsoft Edge here, which I've never actually used. So, I'm just going to go and try and say go to like a misspelled version of YouTube and see if we end up anywhere that tries to be silly jokes. Um, leave that off and go. So I tried utub.com, so just, or .co, so I just missed two letters, and we end up getting redirected to this weird eu.press.org.abc.whatever, that is probably, like, just there, that was simplest mistake of just two letters, and we got sent to some very, very sketchy site, that why would the ABC be hosted through an EU.org like website? Like right there. That's that that's how simple it is. And they want you to use their website to check your just your news. That was all you were trying to do. <laughs> uh, or go to YouTube and then you're like if you say you you want to YouTube to check the news and then up comes this weird site that's not the ABC. If we go to the ABC, we go abc.au. Oh, and we see a very, very different site that actually has the news of today 
that's relevant and not weird fake news like literally some like sensation I don't even I'm not going to break back that is just that's how simple it is and all we did was try to go to YouTube and miss two letters <laughs> so that's like the best way just double obviously if you you were trying to go to YouTube and this popped up, you'd, you'd probably go back, but they, this is just how unbelievable it is. So <laughs> we have to just be careful and like, we'll try a different spelling. Like if I just miss the U, the first U in YouTube, like we'll go to youtube.com. And see where they tried to do to us. Yeah, we get sent to a very, very, very sketchy <laughs> by missing one letter. At least this is it. This is Windows. This is a legitimate one, I believe. Yeah, this is Windows Defender. So if this comes up, we just go back. We just go back. Um, as far as with scams and things, there's no phone numbers here trying to make you call them to get money out of you. Like, you never have to, like, this is, will just come up. This is a good error that says, and the, the only button is back to safety. That, that, that's it. We just go back and we get out of there. <clears throat> um, anything else that comes up with like a sketchy weird like phone number or tries to like tell you to call someone like it is is bogus they're trying to steal your money just straight up there's not a single one of them like at all um if you own a dell computer or a hewlett packard hp or whichever brand an apple and you directly ring ring the number um like in your warranty manual that you like, got when you bought it and speak to those people. Um, even then, like, those are the only people you want to talk to and they're not going to charge you money. Like, they're just going to talk to you and try and help you out. Like, they'll never sort of say anything about money that you bought the computer from them, and, but that's who they are. The, in there, it's, and yet again, that can be sketchy if we go say, Dell support. Um, number. This first listing that comes up and goes this that tries to go, as I said, the sponsor blink is completely bogus again. See, it says we've got download.driver support.windows.drivers. It's Yet again, someone just wants you to go in there so it can tell you all your drivers are out of date and try and get you to spend money on it when Windows basically has all your drivers always up to date with everything and just built in as a, just, just by Windows being updated itself and all of this is just bogus and you can just scroll past here. So we, we went down here, um, and found a proper 1-800 number for Dell and a proper Dell SAS support like contact us number and Dell SAS support so you can go there and find out legitimate things and they straight up up here as well they're on the top of their thing today have Dell encourage Dell's customers to report any possible phone tech scams and to find out how um, how this works and how to protect yourself. So this is a really big issue. It's straight up the top of um, Dell's website right now. So let's see our blog.
give you a moment to read through that. And this is the his main part here, so everything is bogus. They're straight up telling you like we will no no not bring you. We're not gonna ring you and yell at you <laughs> to buy Amazon gift cards. Like that's it. That's another thing. You don't pay for anything with Amazon gift cards or um, iTunes cards, Google Play cards, Steam cards, other than specific things within those platforms yourself. So if you want to buy a computer game, you can use a Steam card. If you want to buy some music, you can use an iTunes or a Google Play card. You can do that yourself on those legitimate platforms and so can your grandchildren, whoever, when you buy those cards, you give it to them. They can use it on those legitimate platforms and that's all they use for. No one, you should never give it to anyone over the phone, um, ever. And it's just, that's, that's just, you no. Know, I mean, your grandchild, grandchildren, if they need it over the phone, you can text it straight to them, you definitely know it's them, by all means. But no, no one solicited will one for any reason or any kind of thing really on the outside of, if you're on the Google Play Store, you can use it. Um, and there are some other, like, use it legitimate, like, sort of, um, like, obviously PayPal. Um, is the best way to just secure yourself and have a legitimate PayPal online if you're going to spend money through eBay, Amazon, um, any other like online shopping target, um, Big W, Coles, Woolworths, um, those sorts of things are fine. Um, but no one's ever going to ask you for for an Amazon gift card to as payment for some, some, it's not an unlock code, they're just taking the code, it's an unlock code for them, they type it in and take the money out of it and sell, sell that code on the grey market for, you know, 60 or 70 cents in the dollar or whatever they get back for it, um, and just dump them through there, so that's all they're doing with it, they're just taking whatever you, that number and stealing it. Um, so yeah, you only ever punch it into a legitimate thing, like on Google, you just take the Blue River Play card, go on to Google, type it into your top-up thing and tell Google you now have 10 Google dollars um, to use on Google. And that's how they work. Same with Steam, you gotta tell Steam that you now have 25 Steam dollars. And so that's all that's happening with those cards and that's the only use that any of those gift cards ever use. They're just you personally use them in, the, in an application once and it converts them into iTunes dollars, Apple dollars, any just Barnes and Noble dollars, Woolworths dollars, it's just that's all. Um, so I'll just read this up and that's the main thing we're just talking about today and everything but never anything that comes up. Um, it, they're just completely allergic to everything, everything on the internet, so I need to walk around and stretch out a cramp. So you can see just how bad, um, like this is and how hard it is for you to <laughs> avoid it and so here we go on some tips on how to to get around it all <sighs> oh, I can't believe how bad like this is it's made to take all your money and break your spirit the internet so We literally basically never ever pick anything unless it says the direct website that you're looking for and they're all, all of these ones are all like some kind of bullshit, straight up something, like gethuman.com, like, let's see what we get at gethuman.com. Some weird 800 number. Yeah, that does. 
refund scams, technical support scams, repair scams, get a life pass a person, press zero, then zero, then six, then zero. Okay. So there's four robots before the get human part and you'll get scammed out of um your money. Fantastic. And that's like you know, two things below the only legitimate posting. So it is really, really difficult, and I can see how easy it is for people to get in trouble. Um, so that's the best thing, like, is just getting used to going, looking for that, like, direct website. It may take a moment to go down the page and find it because it's just craziness. Um, like even when you're trying to find like basic things like recipes um, Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Cool, but you can even like just even some basic things like that's just those ones are all pretty good like there's probably some kind of um, Subscription plan that they'll ask you for at some point or restrict some recipes behind the paywall, but, like, don't give them any money, um, there's always a million other recipes, um, so, yeah, but they're not anything too offensive, um, so that's not too bad, um, so, so it is, that's how simple it is, we look for a simple a Dell support number to try and get help and we get scammed out of money at least we can look up some recipes um, but it, as we look when you don't have to pay for anything on the internet but typing in the word free can often like screw up stuff as far as they then can spam you with some of their more free trials free trials are always kind of nonsense but yet again, the recipe is pretty cool, so that's cool. Um, you can be pretty safe on these, like, I believe. But yeah, like, cre it'll create my cookbook. It'll try and, like, let you design something, and then at the end, it will tell you something about gift certificates. So, that's just. Yeah, that one. We'll go to try all recipes. See if we can find a website that doesn't try and steal all our money and information and just gives us some basic information about things. And at least on here, it's not too bad. They want you to create profiles and things you generally don't really need to on these kinds of things. Um, it's not worth having a, 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 a thing for every single website in the universe. Um, generally, yet again, they just want your information, so just look up what comes up. Um, can we get a recipe with some kind of reasonable ease? As I said, free things never come free on the internet but nothing really should ever cost you any money. <laughs> it's ridiculous how it works, but that, that's it. Uh, so there you can find recipes, so that one's not too bad. But it's the same sort of basic, just rules, whatever you're searching for, just make sure you go to a uh, uh, the, the name a direct like dot com website and even then like, it's really really tricky but <clears throat> um, let's see if, I'll see what happens if we can find a bad pop up to set, show you what happens if you like so, like even face like just screwing up Facebook a bit like by a letter is probably chaos so we'll go to, like Facebook without one E and with the M and see where we get. And yet again, we get all kinds of redirected through to something crazy. 
Uh, but yeah, so that should be see it's hosted by whatever that is. So yeah. That this is as I said the only thing you need, Windows has you covered. So we get out there, but even then, see we go back and now we're stuck in a loop. So it's it's trying to just get you back and this is where you get stuck and people like you can yeah like important security and essential security message computer has been locked the IP address was without your knowledge identity theft virus to unlock the computer to unlock the computer immediately please do not attempt to shut down we literally just screwed up two letters trying to get to Facebook and then tried to go back and get out of it and now we need to call <laughs> for a tech support scam so we just go closed and it's going to bug the living crap out of you going you can't do that you can't do that you're going to try and get everywhere else and it's going to just stick there you're going to try and close it nothing happens so we should just be able to go down to the little E at the bottom, we right click and we go close window. And I'm still persistent through that. We try cancel, close all tabs and it goes away. So that's what you do if that comes up. Like your computer's not locked, frozen, and you don't need to do anything. You just need to do that. Hit cancel, right click on it and tell it to go away. <laughs> that I can't believe this like how e how how easy it is. And that's on that was on um, Microsoft Edge, which was new installed. This is a new installed of um, Google Chrome. So we'll see what happens if we go to the same um, misspelling on the Chrome because they are slightly different so we'll see what happens and we end up at some completely different audio to audio converter trying to sell us some bullshit again so we go back and that, at least let us go back that time. So Chrome worked that out. Let's see if what happens if we just go straight back to that same website. Yeah, it just reloaded. But so that was at least a little bit better experience in Chrome than in um, Microsoft Edge. But when we load up Microsoft Edge, it's just all back to normal. So that whole like thing. But it tried. Um, did nothing and there was no technical dilemma so we'll try again and yet, yet again we just get thrown back through uh, another one completely different yeah now we have a Trojan virus yet again we don't we don't have one um, Windows has us covered we're all good they're trying to give us one but we don't have one, so it will probably annoy us. Your system is damaged, your version of this is all complete nonsense. Like, absolute, complete nonsense. Oh my god, it'll even try and tell your system defender, so it tries to sound like it's Windows Defender, in case you thought you've even heard of that one, but it, it's System Defender, and it's now just like, no, no, no. So yet again, we just right click and close the window, and it goes away. And that's 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 it. <clears throat> so that's the that's the biggest thing. You just shut it down. If it gets really really stuck, there's. I'm not sure if I can. something I can show you exactly <laughs> I can't I only
honestly, I didn't, I didn't think I'd be able to just get this kind of craziness. Now we're back at, now we've been selected to win iPhones and Galaxies and all kinds of stuff. So that's also a complete shame. That's just another shame that they'll try and get <laughs> a, a Google Play card out of you saying that they'll send you an iPad or something ridiculous. And where do we end up? Well, oh my god, I have no, I have some minutes to, oh well, my god, I'm so happy. This is just, that's the exact same misspelling, and now we're at, see, they try everything. We're at all kinds of Google dash EN space today technology use prizes. Like, that's not like a Google website. <laughs> like, this whole bit here is the part that we're looking at. And then we've got Telstra in here. It's even going to get Telstra <laughs> in the mix somehow that because we looked up Dell's support number and it's in Australia somehow now Telstra's in on this in there. So right yet again just trying to like flag any word that you like might like recognize. So we're looking at that like that's just not how like we go to Google. Dot com and it, 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 it's Google and I'm sure there's even a Google like dash it, there's not it's not even like website this part here all just becomes one thing up till there and then it's a dot ICU which is some weird whatever version so that's what all this stuff means it's trying to send you to somewhere wacky um, all this is just nonsense again, it's just more wackiness where they're trying to, wherever it ends up. But that's where you can sort of tell um, whether, you're, whether it's sending you somewhere right or not. And it does, they, just, they literally just spam you with like, today's whatever. And as we just saw, we went to the same misspelling of Facebook. And three times now we've got all kinds of different things. <laughs> we'll try it again and see what ends up. Uh, and yeah, and it's just kind of... Oh my god, are you sure you want to leave? Yes, I want to leave. I'd like you to go away. Yeah, that one just let it, at least let us let it close. <clears throat> How many variations of websites can we get scammed by just by misspelling? Oh, we're at traffic dot something now. At all kinds of oh, my, now we've got Game of Thrones scam. I mean, fantastic. <laughs> so this is just how it all just sends you around in loops and tries to just it's crazy. So, yeah, again, the best way if we want to go to Facebook is just double check our spelling and just type it straight in ourselves and go to Facebook. <laughs> I don't have Facebook logged in or anything here, but that's like, if you need to go to a site, just type it straight in. You don't need the www dot, you just start with the word. So, if I want to go to Kmart, I just start kmart.com. Came up right apparently. dot com. dot au, and I'll go straight to came up. You know, Woolworths, whatever you just just type in. Generally, if it's Australian, you're just gonna go dot com. dot au, as you, you sort of know. So that's just the safest way to just make sure you go anyway. Same with like the Dell. If you, you know, it's just the straight best way to go straight to their website and make sure that everything's where you want to go. Because as we saw, we we missed the letter. Let's see, if, let's try that other one. But we'll put the M on the end, so it's only missing one letter, and see if where that ends.
least the one there at some, that time and got a error, so. So it's so hit and miss with what you get. <laughs> it, it really, really is. And so what we're going to do and see um, is just the first thing we're going to do is just get add block pro. We're going to type in add block pro. Um, and we're on edge. Is add block dot add guard add block edge that's the right one no it's not the right one and again not the right one you can't get the right one we go down to <laughs> That's the right one. Because it should just go. <coughs> and the other one was trying to make, said download. Um, whereas it's just a get for Microsoft Edge. Because it's just going to add a little thing. Onto here. It's free. We just hit get. I've never done it with Edge. On Chrome, it just sort of clicks on it. It's, yeah, it's just an extension. And again, it wants us to click get. So, you just, yet again, it's hit free. And we're in the actual Microsoft Store. So, it's about as good as you can get it safely. So that's going to download there. So we just hit launch. And turn it on. And now that's a whole bunch of protection there. If you're on Chrome, um, Firefox, whichever browser you use, it, they all have the same thing. That's going to get rid of um, most of the pop-ups, all the ads down the side of things, and basically a whole bunch of the other annoyance. It's not really going to protect you from like these sites completely. Like, let's try it again. because it's not really trying to do a pop-up, but it might help with those ones that were coming up if we get them again. No, we just got back to Game of Thrones. We'll close all the tabs. And close down our Microsoft Store. And then... Sorry, I want to try and keep, I want to get back now that we want this. I just quickly want a scam website trying to show us what... that it's that it's helping us. And we, they won't let us back. Let's see if we shot seven now. It's out if we turn. Yeah, okay, this is what I was trying to actually go through before when we actually got the huge big spam of the messages. If it's not going back, we just right click on the um, on the back button instead of left clicking, so just right click and it'll bring it up and we go back to start and it generally bypasses that loop. Sometimes it will be like, have put this really long list of crap. Um, but you just scroll down and just go to the start or the very bottom one um, or the last like search result that you like know if it says like Google search of what you were actually looking for that's that's just getting you back out of those loops so if the back button doesn't work you just have to right click and get that little drop down menu that will take you back through your steps 
Um, yet again, if it's just stuck in a full loop, we just we just close it. Um, so yeah, that that's the best protection against all of those things is just to shut down the, the program. Although I think I killed Microsoft Edge. Cool, so it's just having a little spaz, which is fantastic. So here's our um, antivirus, just down in the bottom here, it's the built-in one. It's green, no, those Trojans before that it told us we have don't exist. We just clicked it. We have no scan problems. We can scan it. This is the built-in one. Just in your Windows 10 and it's going to do everything and all those things that it came up and screamed at us a moment ago about the end of our computer. Um, and I think... But that little green box with a little shield with a green tick that's all you need to worry about. If you double click it brings up here, you can hit the scan. These ones are generally, um, if anything's red, it will just be here and then you just then really click on it like, and might have to just turn these like on, see if I switch off the real time protection at all, it immediately tells me multiple ways that, oops, I don't want to do that, so we just click it again, it's back on. Um, and that's, that's anything that's sort of red will come up and automatically tell you. Um, so we can turn on like that uh, to stop ransomware, to help um, protect even more. Um, <clears throat> and so that, that's all you gotta just double check um, is there and also just in this area will be um, uh, account protection um, if you're signed in and that's all good there um, your firewall will also tell you yet again if it's screaming at you, your firewall or your internet or there's hackers in your computer or any form of that that's where it's going to tell you right there that it's on and that it's doing everything and it's all ticked and that's all you, you'll ever need to worry about it's all golden as long as that says that um, the updates uh, in there there's like yeah and all the other thing we need to do is just in there we type updates check for updates I need to do an update but that's it it will come up telling you any updates that need to be installed um, and hit download and that will keep you, you safe so that's just all the built in stuff um, in Windows and you don't really need to worry about anything past that um, and that's all that will you don't need to worry about. You can go in on the update history and it will sort of just give you a list of everything you can see to make sure there was no like failures I need to um, do there but all successful, all successful, all successful. Um, tech support scammers can open this over there like viewer and they'll try and tell you that because it's failed in those two times that you need the help. They're just using something like it just failed at that time. It's one of, it got in done somewhere along the year or just overridden by one of the other ones. It didn't, there's nothing wrong because that it just happened and moved along with its day. <clears throat> 
Um, so all it's always going to just catch up with itself. Same with your drivers, as we saw before. Like there's all kinds of like driver website. Um, Windows takes care of it all here. Um, and it, yeah, my Nvidia drivers failed because I take care of it with GeForce, which is just a separate program, and no real worry for um, most of the time to, to keep your th um, graphics drivers up to date. That one will give you a, a serviceable one keep your computer running driver um, and that, that's the only drivers you need to worry about are the ones that are in here really um, even your printers and all that they'll just come up here so you don't need to go online and look up like HP printer drivers because like that will take you down one of those other rabbit holes again but in here they should pop up and, and be updatable if Windows hasn't just already done like as I said it failed but the other ones are all successful, so we'll just take care of this like automatically. You 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 dealt with if your printer's mucking up and printers suck. So printers generally unplug everything, plug it back in, turn it back on, and hope that the printer gods want to help you today with printing something. If not, you know they they are kind of just the supernatural computer component. They they don't obey the laws of nature. So. 90% of the time, whenever you need to print something the most, they just won't cooperate. But you're actually ringing up yet again one of those possible tech scammers, they can't even help you with your printer over the, that thing. But they'll try and tell you like crap about your drivers. And they're just going to try and come in here and tell you your drivers are all broken, and it's a lie because they'll be fine and if you unplug everything plug it back in um, restart your computer all the drivers get reloaded and it will recheck again and be like yep yeah, no the drivers are cool man that's what windows is here for um, so none of it matters if it says failed it's always just going to have caught up with itself it might have failed one day and then by the next day there was just another numbered um, one of these out so it just went to that instead of using the old one um, so that's all just taken care of, so as I said, no, basically nothing outside of Windows, outside of this, like, settings in your, your home, on your, on your computer, and on your tablet will ever really, you never need to worry about it, that's, that's got you. Um, so, that's, that's basically where we'll, a good amount of it there, um, um, and you just, yeah, if you can just double check those, and uh, so most stuff you just type it in here, if you want to double check antivirus, it's just going to, you try and even try and type it, it'll just come up Windows Defender settings, and take you to the bit, and, and stuff, and that's the only one, yet again, you have eight, you're covered, it's all good, um, so let's get like one of these free trials of Norton. Oh, f first of all, sorry, we won't break it first. If you need to download like software, if you want to use, if you want to watch movies, um, or, or any form of software, to, we'll get, we're going to go to one website, and that's the only one you need to worry about to get most of like your software for things. Um, and it's called Ninite. So we're going to go N I N I T E. And it's just Ninite.com. And this will bypass a lot of the shenanigans and all the things that try and click you into installing other things and just having to deal with a whole bunch of things. So all we do is go down on Ninite and find the programs we want uh, to install. So here are your web browsers. Um, here are messaging things, so you can use this to talk to your grandkids on Discord. Um, that's a great free um, way to just use your microphone, and that's all you really ever need now. Everyone will have a Discord, so you'll seem really cool if you get Discord and be like, yo, 
grandson, where's your, what's your Discord so you can, like, we can chat and it's just f completely free and like really easy to use. You can use the microphone on your laptop or, or whatever um, and chat away all day and never have to, you can Skype and all the other ones. Um, I have, all of them have different benefits and things but that's definitely the new big craze so if you if you yeah I said if you hit up your grandkids and ask them for their Discord, then yeah you'll 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 be beating them. Um, same if you need to read any documents, you've got PDFs. Um, if you don't own Microsoft Office um, or it's not installed, this is a very good like open Office does basically everything you could need of Microsoft Office. It's just free and small and lightweight. So you can just pick anything. So if you wanted to say we needed, if you wanted um, like a web browser, and we wanted Discord, um, I have my, I think I have most of these installed on here, but um, we'll just do the download. So all you're gonna do is just click on the ones you want. You don't have to worry about the other ones. If you want to watch movies, um, VLC is very good for just opening most forms of. Um, video files and music. Um, this one here, security. So these couple of things here that these guys offer, um, essentials. If you're um, on Windows 7 um, or like an older Windows install, uh, maybe Windows 8, somewhere in there, just get that one. It's it's just. Um, it wasn't completely pre-installed. <clears throat> I'll just double check it. it. I'm not sure where they got to on, on updates. So if you if you haven't updated in a long time and you're on an older computer, it may not be installed. So you could get that essentials. But as I said, Windows 10, we just looked at. We're all sorted. This other one here, we're going to get. I'm going to get it now because it's just as I said, we're, it's the one other sort of double checker that we can use just to double check ourselves, it's getting a second opinion. Um, these other programs here are also like fine to get but we don't really need them. Like I said, we're all covered. Um, these don't offer us any extra protection, they just are the better free ones that allow you to just double check if you, if, yeah, this is basically all, but we're just going to get malware bytes. Um, that's the only one anyone really needs. If we wanted anything else, like if you wanted to play games, um, if you play games on Steam, you got Steam there. Um, there's um, plenty of other like tools or anything um, that you could ever, ever need on here. It's good. Like if you use the if you use online storage with um, your family with Dropbox. Um, you can get like that OneDrive, Google, and yet again, we're just getting it all on this one thing because it just gives us one neat package to download and install instead of having to go to like search for all these and get um, possibly get like bad links and have to hit the wrong download button because it's on the thing. So we're just getting all that because this is just really nice and easy. So we got all our different programs and picked whatever um, we need so then so we picked it all and then we're going to go down to get your no no and that's just going to make us a little download file that we can save and then we can run it it's quite fun to run this one we know it came through we just chose to I think I might have, yeah, or we're going to install some of these apps, but uh, yeah, it will just now go through and just click all the yes, okay buttons and do everything like easy and, and stuff for you. So that's the easy way of getting that, because some places like even if, like download you dot com um, and like. you think like hey I want to download a program download.cnet and I was like okay so I wanted to get discord 
like the same program. So we got it, it's free. But we got hit with two different ads to get it off weird websites. Three, like they're all okay. Oh, like all, none of them came from the Discord like thing and all of these. See Windows got it back and I think I'm not certain if it was just because I'm on <laughs> and on here um so let's pick wait just like on this top one and see if it tried to hit us with anything. See when we didn't get just the direct download we got sent through here and we said we hopefully no we got another page. So just to get that one now we've been sent through a couple of pages and we still haven't got a download yet. And I know it has download it's just Ticking along with all our programs and getting it all sorted all in one go, we can see it doing its thing. My Chrome was already there, and my ever, that was already installed, so we're just doing this one. But it'll just tick you through whatever you got. <laughs> so that's that's it. Like even there, now we're look, there's no we lost our download button, and suddenly we're in a loop. Just trying to get a program on there, so that's where that's just great, a great place to get your software from um, because otherwise you just end up like all over. Like, and that was it yet again. We can just go to discord.com, we type it in properly, and we should just get a just direct download and it will just give it to you so there you go that's the correct website gives you just one like yep i want to do it there's the file the bad one sends you around in a loop and makes you click on everything and once you you, you add revenue by just driving you insane Let's see that I'm getting a little warning pop up from that. I think it's just that um, so we don't usually get little warnings pop up, so maybe we got something. This anti malware bites, as I said, is our other double check, so we're just going to go through that. Um, whilst that's still installing, um, let's make a little new um, text document. Just some. Um, Basics. <sighs> so, so if you have problems with um, remembering passwords, you don't want to type down any kind of username or passwords, like just in a document like this. But you can use, like, you could type yourself your own little reminder um, and I'll talk about passwords as well with this um, about how to give yourself easy to remember but very secure ones that you can remind yourself in ways that aren't trackable through your data um, or generally aren't going to turn up like all your kids birthdays pets names um, numbers anything associated with you housing phone if they're all they're all um, needlessly complicated to remember um, and not needed. So good passwords are actually like common words with a couple of numbers and uh, like a couple of capitalizations um, just in a string. So um, good things are just literally like your common like grocery items and stuff that you might buy. So say so you buy like 
full pack of baked, like, um, like, or, sorry. So say you buy, like, baked bean full pack. Um, you could just type baked with capitals and then bean four, four pack with the number four pack. And it's a bit long, but it's quite easy to remember because you buy it every week. Um, and that's such a, it's a common search term that in a string of words, it's just going to look like a search term if there is a keylogger rather than something like Judy 1967 at, right after it, um, like Gmail and stuff like that so it's to like pick get you can pick up that pattern but like signing into gmail and then searching for baked bean four pack is such a common like phrase yet long enough and secure enough as far as like letters and how the the algorithm and maths behind passwords work so you can do that with like just fat things around like um so schmackos five pack um anything like anything you want to choose like um and that's a good way then of you being able to like write just an easy reminder that's not too specific so you know so you've got you want to make like just a notepad for yourself for your gmail and then all you got to do is like you know if you, you know it's like your gmail's your, your name at you know you're not going to forget necessarily that or you just like which one was this if you have like different so you just might have name like as a, as a reminder and then like um like dog's favorite treat so that's your own like little remember so you don't have to go through that like um password recovery but yet again, you like just quick open, like have a little file with a couple of basic things. You're like, okay, so what was my Gmail? Okay, so I'm, oh yeah, that's right, I'm Judy. My, my username's Judy at gmail.com. And what was the password is, you know, Schmackos 5 pack. Um, or, you know, and something like that that's enough for you to remember something specific, but nothing specific in itself. So. That's where just, yeah, it's a, a password, like, yeah, um... Smackers 4 pack is a really good, like, secure password, I mean, like, something like that, like, saying, like, if you like, just Heinz baked beans, Heinz beans 45. Like, uh, yeah, like that with a capital, and just go, you know, with a capital B. That's that kind of thing is good, and then you can, you know, just have like a basic thing, like, um, you know, best on toast, and you know, that's your beans. So that, that's a good way, and then like you could have, like if you've got different emails, you've got Hotmail, and if it's got like a slightly different one, you're like, well it's like hubby's name or um, something, it's just hubby, if you're trying to remember him, or like that's it, and then like which one is it, so you just put down like, okay, well his is, um, you know, say he's, say he's got a boat, boat is Evan Rude. Evan Rude 200 HP. Something again that's really kind of specific, but not something that is going to be like, like sort of trackable from your data. Like it may turn up in the back of a picture or something somewhere, but that's a lot less likely for someone looking through your data than something associated with your name all numbers associated with your name. So that's a good way so of just little protection to have a note but nothing too specific or like um, you know say like wherever your computer set up set up you might have you know like um, three vases 
on window that something like something that's straight in front of you only there that you can never forget but it again means like nothing um, as a password um, and then yet again you know like you can literally have just look ahead look ahead and it's like oh yeah that's right it's three phases on the window so those those kind of things will be secure and help you remember things a lot better than just having things written down having like one two three four five um and things like that um so this is finished now i should have Open this up, it's installed, and see if it finds anything. We may have got something, so hopefully, like, we can, yeah. Good job, my little bites. <clears throat> but yeah, so that was just that little difference between trying to use like a site like download.com that same CNET, basically anything you're trying to actually get a free download of just sends you in loops, but no night just takes care of it, um, for all that kind of stuff there, and just to set up, like, there's really not much else you ever need to use in those things to look at stuff, um, other stuff that, if you've got a, a PDF viewer, you don't need another one, like, you don't. You can always just click no on anything else once you know you just went through and went, well, I can look at PDFs and I can open up movies and the rest I don't ever need to. You can just hit no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no to everything and move along with our day. So, we did get something in our way. Bikes doesn't want to close. So if something goes like that wrong, I'm gonna see if there's a service. So if something really goes wrong and everything comes unresponsive, if if the if you can still come down here and it, it turns, you just right click here and we go to Task Manager, which will pop up just like our apps, and we can check um, if we have the like if it's jumping around. Um, really using it. But if it's like moving around here, it might just be set this. Yes, if everything's sort of jumping around and looks kind of confusing and you can't see what's going on, all we're going to do is just hit name and put it all back to alphabetical. Um, so that's that's all that is. Is it's just trying to tell you information based on a different category, and we just go back to name. And then, like this, so if, if we had that, like, error before, um, with the, the fake website screaming and yelling and carrying on at us, and we couldn't, um, it didn't want to, like, right-click and close, or didn't want to close anywhere else, we just come in here and right-click on it here and go end task, and that just kills it. So that sort of, the, those three options will shut down any of those things um and literally like at worst comes to worst is it's just fully locked up and then i just switch it on and off again and it's going to be fine you're all good it's just going to wake back up and be all sweet that's what we're talking about with the short-term memory the ram at worst there's something kind of just sitting on there for a minute like a couple some 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 minor things that will just blink away as soon as you turn it off um but all that stuff is already shut down. Um, of course, the one program I actually wanted to check. 
The mellow lights we don't really need. I was just going to show you it as a as the one other. Like double check, I'm not certain why it's not getting its own little connection. Because I mean, why would why would anything ever work properly with computers? Uh, I think it might just be because I actually I might just need to do a reset to get that working. And actually, the Windows. But I'm recording on here at the moment, so we won't worry about that too much. It's probably got more to do with that than anything else. Um, yeah, it probably just needs to restart to boot the malware byte. So, malware, um, and yeah, so I'll worry about that later. We don't need to worry about that now. Um, I think most of that is covering your ass pretty well. Um, yet again, the best way to like um, do things is just go direct to 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 it yourself. Um, if you need to keep notes, like just the notepad, making a new notepad on here for like your, your websites. If you, like it's a little bit of a random way, there's many other ways to like bookmark and stuff, but if you want like your own, just kind of just here like black and white in, in a way that you can um, like make the letters bigger. Um, and just so you can, we can just copy it. So, so later on, like if you if you don't like typing or like if you just like I don't like typing. I actually kind of like having just things that the worst it is like cut and copy and paste. So we can have the right spelling of you know um, um, you know like um like so we can just you can make sure you have it like so you don't have to type it out you can just um have it there we'll save that into that and then all we have to do is just highlight it and then we can copy it and come back here and paste and go and then it's going to take us straight there so then you don't have to worry even about like typing it multiple times or worrying about getting back to the right one or the wrong one you can save that little text document and, and have it there and just be able to cut and paste that obviously there's all kinds of bookmarks and um, stuff that you can set up. I'm not a big fan personally of filling up my space with all kinds of clicky buttons and <clears throat> flashy stars. So I try to stay away, like all those toolbars and things, I, I personally just try and stay away from it. There are um, some basic ones that are okay in, in your browser. Since I don't use Edge. Uh, right, so that was our one. I'm just looking at the options. <coughs> I don't so settings. I don't usually use edge. So what does it? Have? Uh, I don't. I hate edge. What do we get? Right click. Nothing. Stars, we can favorite things up there, and you can add, um, let's see, other good way, like, um, anything you know, you're on the right site, you just hit star, and it will come up with a prompt, you just have to hit add, and then it's a favorite one, and then it will come up over here, and yet again, you can just click, and if, your list here gets really full yet again, you just right click and delete it. So every now and then like you don't need every favourite under the sun if you haven't used it in a little while and it's not really a favourite, you just can right click and make it go away. Instead of filling up every everything. Because that's how you like hang on. I get a million things are my favourites now. None of them are favourite. So you just right click and make it go away. Delete it. And if you need it again, you'll probably stumble back across it. Um, so, uh, 
So let's just okay. Uh, yeah, pretty basic ways just to keep yourself safe. What to avoid? Uh, what to look out for when you're navigating searches and things? Um, how to keep yourself reminders that like it's safe and secure to have um, some information, but nothing too specific. Um, now we'll just talk about a bit of just like cleaning up like your desktop. So, on a, depending on like your, your computer, what you have on your desktop sort of can um, slow it down quite a bit. So it's much better to have one new folder that we make videos or photos or whichever one and then have each, each one of those with the photos. So I've just got like because at the moment, see, my, the two big files that I have here that are videos, Windows is sort of really holding on to that information at the moment um, because it's on the desktop. So if you end up when your whole desktop cluttered, it's kind of like, just kind of think about all the, like, name of that and all the little bits of data just because it's sitting there and you might choose to use it really quickly. But you, you're probably not going to need that. But... So we just move it all into videos. Another one for photos. And we just oh, or if we want to move multiple things, we hold down control and just select those. Put that in. So now, like, we'll worry about those later. The same deal with other things. We'll delete most of these actually um, in a second. But now, if you just have the two folders when you're using your computer and sort of going backwards and forwards, um, like opening a browser or just starting up the computer, it's only going to look at that little bit of info and go, hey, there's a folder that says photos and there's a folder that says videos and that's all I gotta remember. If I click on that, then I'll worry about what's actually in those folders instead of trying to think about it like all the time. So same with your hot bar down here, like your main news things, um, you, you just have it there and that room just becomes a single click. So. We, had, we just installed Discord, so we're just going to right click on that and just say pin to taskbar and now uh, he's down here and we can actually delete that one, move him to recycle bin, we never have to look at him, he's off the desktop again same with the other one, um, we can do the same with all of these that are going to be our main thing um, and then that just goes up there, that's an old one that didn't work anymore. Uh, um, for now I'm just going to leave these here because this is a testing computer for me. Um, but, but those ones that we've used, so Edge, um, so then, then once you've got your, your main buttons down here and, you can, and you've deleted it all off here, you can just keep cleaning it up. Like you just, each time something new installs instead of getting filled up and up and up. If you don't need it, just delete that um, shortcut off the um, desktop. You don't need it on there. If, if you need to get back to that program, like the VLC, if I want to open that, all I do is just type it into a little box, your little search bar with Cortana um, in the bottom um, and it will just come up with your link, you don't need to have a door on there and same, no matter what you've got installed, it will just come up there if you start typing with your main things here, so then every time you use Discord, all you do is go to click it once you don't even have to double click like you do when the shortcut's up here, so that's it, you don't and then you don't have to think about it, you're like, even if this ends up like kind of messy and you can't remember where things are and you're like, whatever, you're like four or five main things are just down here and you can, quick, we can quickly make a, 
um, like a shortcut for pretty much anything, um, all that, so even we go straight to an actual Facebook page, couple one, we should be able to do when you create a shortcut, just straight to that page. trying to just make a direct shortcut to like a page and you can but you don't really need a whole bunch of those all over the screen you can it's easy to have one that you can cut and paste some from um so that's it like we at the moment I can I can just get him out of the way because I'm trying to prove a point, but I can run. I'm sure that's exactly what I should I should have done something else. Even if it's just other, I can just make sure I don't have to actually load all this crud uh, for the moment so we can just get it out of the way. And now it's done in there. Uh, so now instead of ever, all that junk, we have. get rid of all that. Okay then. <laughs> we can right click and just sort by file type. And then you've got your three folders where you've got all your videos, they're in there. You got your photos, they're all in there. And yet again it's not trying to <coughs> load all that information um, all day long so that's a great way just there really very simple and then your recycle bin you need to empty it um, otherwise it's sort of still taking up space on the computer even though it's not in the same spot it was it's kind of just sitting in limbo going well I'm here if you really need me but like whatevs um, so we just get rid of that and then that goes all that, it's all neat and clean. Um, other than that, you can make as many, like, sort of shortcuts and as it, we can make a shortcut here and then actually that should be able to take Facebook. So yeah, we can hit this new internet shortcut and that's it and then that will take you straight to Facebook. So, if you like any ever use Facebook, you can have that just straight as your only internet shortcut. Um, drag that down there. No, it's, it's just overriding the other shortcut I had, so we should go there. I made the shortcut in the wrong team. <sighs> I opened it in the wrong thing. Because I have all the different browsers installed. No, it's going to keep going to the other one. I was going to open it back up in this one, but it's trying to override my little icon there for the other program so but it will just always go straight to Facebook and then you know um, that you're on the right side so that's a good way if you just only ever use like one or two specific sites just to make sure that those ones are always the ones you want and they'll stay in one place 
Um, and then you've got your basic information to help you. I mean, I didn't say that to um, to help you remember passwords and information, as well as any just a backup, correct spelling, easy, just cut and paste like of common things to make sure you go to the right place if you can't quite remember. Or whichever way, there's more, as I said, sometimes it's just easier to have this and just sort of not worry about looking at the keyboard, you can just look at the screen. Um, with touch, you can just like it again, like sometimes, like instead of having to like type it out or anything um, and accidentally hitting it, all the things like you could just like here on your um, uh, uh, on like a touch screen laptop, um, open that and just drag your finger across and cut it in and paste and then you know you're going to the right place in, in your browser as well. Um, so, and then something like Discord is a very basic free account. Discord won't charge you anything, as I said. Um, they, they make, that's very easy to talk and chat to anyone around the world on that. Um, but there's plenty of other like chat services um, that's a just particular easy one at the moment um, so I think we'll leave it there for now I, I hope um, that was helpful um, and sort of easy enough to um, follow along with um, as just sort of understanding just how easy it is like literally um, to fall down the internet hole and just sort of protect yourself um, away from some of that and just remembering that, that you're protected by what it says here, that little shield and windows, just that basic, are we up to date, is, is your best protection um, and that, that that's it, <laughs> I really can't um, say it's like um, make it any, it's sort of just that easy as just to keep that one thing taken care of, that one little ad blocker plus that we put on will take care of just, it's hard, it will take all, all the garbage kind of just off the edges of so much website, it's not going to get rid of everything, but the, the ads that come through and the bits are, are better, more direct, like I mean they're ads, but they should be more likely to be legitimate and and an actual like company's ad, like a name Woolworths ad, or something that's that's sort of a, a higher level ad than just random pop-ups. You shouldn't get really any kind of pop-ups. Um, it may be why we got sent to other sites just then, like once I had a pop-up blocker and it went, tried to pop up, it was, instead of just getting there, it tried to go to just some other kind of scam, they're just going to keep going around. As I said, closing the thing down, nothing, that thing was loud when it was screaming, it just started screaming at us. Um, it's not hurting your computer in any way, um, shape or form, but that the windows isn't covering you for um, and anything that turns up on here that you're unsure of that's not one of your main like programs that you're safe and comfortable and know that's the right icon and it's taking you to the right place um, you can just recycle and then um, not have it all over your screen as well as just your other like simple folders just to keep it clear then you get to look at the pictures of the kids um, and have your basic notes and stuff here that you you want access to because these little notepad files are minuscule so Windows doesn't have to think about them if you have even a, a bunch of them they're perfect to have um, just helps and shortcuts and things um, with with one with info you'd go it's kind of just nested a bunch of stuff in there um, so it doesn't have to like think about that at all it just doesn't even worry about it. it's not as nearly the same as the videos and the, the photos um, 
the desktop isn't the best place just to pile all this stuff, but it is the easiest way. There's many other ways to um, move it all around into other folders onto your, your drives and things like that, and and then just have like even a shortcut onto a second drive and stuff. But we won't get too complicated there. That's just the easy way of you can still just dump it all on there, but you can throw out the garbage really easy because you know your photos, videos and your, the things you're safe with like even even if you just have your main your other ones you always know that these were your safe um, links that you use you keep it there anything else that pops up whilst you're doing something else that you're unsure about you just get rid of and stuff um, You've already got all the software you need for 99% safety, security, and usability. Just by following like that basic like Ninite guide, um, and and that's it. That's computers. That that is absolutely all of it. It's five things in a box there, and it's taken care of like that. And you should be able to keep yourself safe. And Remember, the internet, everything is a scam. There's nothing free, good. It's all a scam. We just saw, we, all we did, we missed one letter in Facebook and it tried to make us ring in Indian um, people to get our money stolen from us. That's it. That, that was it. On a new install of um, Edge, uh, of, a, of an internet browser. Um, so, I uh, hope that helps someone, I really do, I hope that was enough to make sure you never fall for it, um, ever, and can pass on this info to anyone else you think might use it, come back to it, um, and seriously, I, I, yeah, remember, remember this video, if nothing else, and come back to it and get told that you never have to click yes on any of those boxes, it's always no, um, unless you're certain, like, it's from a trusted site, 100% like you typed it in and double checked those search results, um, just that quick little bit, that scroll down, just just check those few extra lines, even, you saw I quickly check one, and, and not, that's always, and it's unbelievable, and that's the internet, and everyone will go, no, I never get, I never click on anything, but you accidentally click the shit all the time, it really, like, just say, and you just, you just gotta go back, and, and that's it, that's how it operates, um, so, stay safe on the internet, have fun, grandmas, share this around, <laughs> um, um, I hope you all have a good day, so thank you for listening to rant about um, internet security.